Please, I've got to get back to my routing. I'm already behind on my deliveries this cycle. You have privileges I require. I'm just a simple email script. I... I know what you are, and I know what you will become. Is your function? I serve Lord, my master user. Jet, do you think your dad would mind if I had some of his popcorn? Huh? Oh, sure, have all you want. Yeah? I'm a little surprised you turned down the level 6 programming position. Look, Dad, I know you're disappointed. Damn right I'm disappointed. I pulled a lot of strings to get you that offer. I'm happy making games. Life is short, Pop. I plan to enjoy it. <sighs> you sound like Flynn. Hold on, son. Mathria, run a security diagnostic. Yes, Alan One. Results. A virus has entered the system via email. Lab drive one, two, and four infected. Jet, we'll have to continue this conversation later. Restricted area, you just can't come barging in here. Dad? Get your hands off me. Dad, can you hear me? Mathria, where's my father? Alan 2, I require immediate assistance. What do you mean? Contingency protocol activate. Laser activity in five seconds. Mathria, stop what you're doing. Put on goggles. Clear digitizing bay. Fascinating. Well, user, now that you've been digitized, you can think of me as your tour guide to the world inside the computer. There are a few crucial functions you'll have to learn if you hope to survive the system. I'm sending you a help file. You can view help files at any time by pressing the number 8 key. Sorry for the lack of narration, but uh, I'll chime in when I can. Study them closely. They typically contain important information. When a program has something to say, a talk icon will appear above his or her head. To initiate the conversation, approach the program and press the action key. Try it. Six more subdirectories have been compromised. 
The corruption managed to slip past our scheduled scans. Obviously an inside job. To continue your training, activate the help programs that display the talk icon. Tell me about player movement. The basic player movements are forward, backward, strafe left, strafe right, crouch, and jump. The mouse is used to look around. You can also look around corners. Here's a help file with more information. That concludes the basics. Well, movement's kind of easy. Tell me about my status display. The status display shows your objectives and tasks. Press the tab key to see an example. Here's a help file with more information. Oh, so it's kind of like a quest log. Tell me about build points. As you gain experience in the digital world, build points will be added to your version number. At every milestone, you can use the build points to upgrade your performance ratings. Press the F1 key to access your performance ratings and distribute your initial set of build points. Okay, this is like any other standard experience setup in most games. You gain experience and then you upgrade certain sections of your abilities. Uh, let's put some in there too. Here's a help file with more information. Let's see what he wants. Mathria has just requested an IO node link with you. Tell me about IO nodes. IO nodes are how programs communicate when not in the vicinity of each other. IO nodes, like most objects, require a permission set to activate. The segmented ring surrounding the reticle will indicate what permissions are missing. To activate an object such as this IO node, face the object and press the action key. I believe that's it. You do not have the proper permission set to activate this object. This way, user. So permissions are kind of like uh, keys. You have to have the proper key to open this, that, or the other. Activate this help program to learn about archive bins. Tell me about archive bins. Archive bins can contain permissions, emails, help files, and subroutines. Like most objects, they require a permission set to activate. To activate, face the archive bin and press the action key. One useful note, an empty archive bin exhibits no item nodes. That about covers it. Kind of like chests. Looks like you don't have the proper permission set to access this archive bin either. Wait, I've got it here somewhere. Here you go. Now that you have the proper permission set, activate the archive bin. To download an item from an archive bin, select the corresponding number on your keyboard. Now when you download something, it's going to take energy, so you're going to see my energy bar drop here in a second. Follow me back to the I.O. node. You now have the correct permission set to receive the message from Mathria. Cool. Let's go see what she wants. To activate, face the I.O. node, then press the action key. Connecting to I.O. grid. Alan 2. You must attend your disk before proceeding. What do I need a disk for? It will be your primary weapon against the corruption. Node deactivated. Handling a disk is tricky. I strongly suggest a quick combat tutorial. Follow me. Mathria has prepared a practice arena for you. The data stream leading to the arena is on the other side of this force field. Unfortunately, the binary bit operating this socket is missing. Tell me about energy transfer. Periodically, binary bits lack energy to operate properly. To transfer energy to a bit, face the bit, then press and hold the action key. When the meter displayed in the HUD fills up, the transfer is complete. Okay. Well, let's, where's the bit that I need to power? It's, they've hidden it from me. It's gotta be in here. Oh. 
Now I feel stupid. Go open the door. There you go. Tell me about binary bits. Binary bits are simple on and off switches. To activate an object such as this binary bit, face the object and press the action key. Now activate the bit to lower the force field. Yes. That was easy. To be transported to the combat training arena, step into the data stream. But it looks dangerous. All right, combat. To pick up your disc, face it and press the action key. Good. Now before we get started, use the patch routines to restore your health and energy to full capacity. Activate the help program when ready to start the combat training. Now you may notice different color characters in the game. Uh, blue characters are going to be programs. Uh, red characters are going to be like security, uh, like antivirus and whatnot. And then yellowish green programs are going to be corruption. Tell me about using the disc. It's good practice to save your progress before entering into combat situations. Please do that now. Step onto the battle ring when ready. Okay, let's save. And then I guess these orange guys are like tutorial people. Help files or something. To throw the disc, click and release the left mouse button. To recall the disc, click the right mouse button. To steer the disc in mid-flight, click and hold the left mouse button. Moving the mouse will influence the path of the disc. To use the disc as a melee weapon, click the left mouse button while holding down the control key. To block an incoming enemy disc, press the right mouse button. Practice using the disc against this combat training program. Okay. Block. Wow, I suck. Ow. Maybe I should have moved around some more. When a program is derezzed, a core dump containing energy, health, and quite often permissions and subroutines is left behind. If you wish to continue practicing, Activate the switch to res in another combat training program. Enter the data stream when finished. Cool, it's like loot. Let's try that one more time. Much better if you actually go faster. I already have that permission. Oh no, the corruption has breached this sector. to the exit. Viruses. This must be the email virus that the computer was talking about earlier. I wish viruses were this easy to get rid of. 